During the two world wars, people in the war zones used to put off lights on hearing the air raid sirens. Well lit areas attracted the bombers' attention and bombs too. But those were the days of yore. These days, night lights are being used by countries, economists, IMF and World Bank to study the pace of economic growth. Latest data from Indian Space Research Organization or ISRO suggests that the normalized nighttime light or NTL radiance in India has jumped 43% in 2021 when compared to 2012. Nightlight data is a numerical measure of the brightness of the Earth during the night. This is calculated by capturing visible light with the help of satellites. In some states like Bihar and Manipur, the jump has been over 400%. Ladakh, Kerala, Arunachal Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh and Gujarat have also shown impressive growth. But in developed states like Maharashtra and Tamil Nadu, the growth has been moderate, largely because the base number in 2012 was higher. In the maps showing the night lights, one pixel of the image represents an area of less than one square kilometre on Earth. The place is assigned a digital number based on its brightness. The brighter the spot, the higher the digital number. When all the numbers assigned to pixels over one country are added, it becomes an indicator that measures the activity of that country at night. When it is compared across countries and over time, it turns into a barometer of economic development and fluctuations. The economic correlation is arrived at using a simple rule that as more and more areas in a country urbanize and infrastructure modernizes, the night sky brightens due to the installation of more street lights. This leads to the registration of more intense light by satellite sensors. In the development of infrastructure including building roads and bridges, constructing railroad stations and airports and upgrading power grids and telecommunications, more and more light is emitted at night. The data also comes in handy because it is available on a granular level and can easily be used to analyze development regardless of geographical boundaries. These are also very helpful in areas of conflict where it might be difficult to go on the ground and track the destruction. An RBI study done in 2019 showed the night lights track both trend and seasonal variations in GDP. The NTL data, however, may not always be fully reliable. It is especially true in the case of developed nations. According to the IMF in these countries, the power infrastructure is already in place and thus the rate of growth of night lights may be lower. There might be development on the ground, but it might not reflect in the If you like this images. video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.